Oh, see if I can do this standing up. Probably short for some reason. I guess it's because the floor is different. We had Diana Crowell come in uh, one one day last summer. Her um, manager called us up and said she was looking for a piano for one of her tours that had an old look to it, but it was a quality piano. Yeah, she, she spent about six hours here actually and played quite a few of them. And we were like best friends, it seemed like. You know, she's kindred spirits, so to speak. And while she was looking at the piano, she face chatted Elvis Costello and her husband. And so I got to say hi to him on there. That was pretty cool. Because <laughs> yeah, here we are in Friendsville of all places, and Diana Crowell's face chatting with Elvis Costello yeah. in the middle of nowhere. This is the piano I was talking about that's going to be uh, going into the New York City apartment, 11th floor by a crane. Hope it doesn't fall. The customer said that he thought that a square and a grand got happy in a boudoir somewhere created this piano. <laughs> anyway, so we, we have... Uh, quite a variety of different characters here to work with us. We've got uh, a gentleman from London, we've got a gentleman from Alaska who moved here, and then we've got some local people who are equally as talented that we've brought in and trained. Uh, every piano that we have here has a story with it. It's an extension of someone's family. It's grandma's piano. We want to preserve the history and, and the memory of their loved ones. So they're not just commodities, they're actually part, they're part of people's lives. They're, they're very special to people. So.